Arabica coffees are generally much higher in quality. They have more sugars, they have more of the compounds that translate into great taste, but they're more fragile. They tend to grow at high altitudes in the mountains in places all along the equator. And they grow in areas that are the most susceptible to climate change. The actual area that is available in these high altitude tropical zones for growing Arabica coffees are shrinking. The question is, are we as consumers in danger of, of losing coffee? Is, is coffee disappearing? And the answer is yes, it is. Con un café de buena calidad, por acá se tiene un café que da buena taza, que tiene sabor, pues, que tiene olor, que tiene todas las características. Y un café de mala calidad es un café que, por una u otra causa, o sea, afectado por el tiempo o algo, o está afectado por la broca. Entonces, todo eso incide en el, en el sabor. It's been marketed. Over the last 30 to 40 years, Colombia is producing the best coffee, and Colombians are proud of that. Coffee is a, is a, is really a culture. It's not only a crop. So everybody here lives on coffee. So it's the farmers, it's the coffee pickers, it's the small businesses that transport, that process the coffee. Farmers here, they've grown up coffee farmers. Their grandparents were coffee farmers. They all speak with pride about their coffee. Nacido aquí en el campo, creado aquí, cultivador de café. Nosotros eh, cultivamos café hace más o menos alrededor de unos 10 años. Toda la vida fue caficultor. Climate change will impact coffee production tremendously in the future and already now, mainly on pest and disease pressure, quality and production. Here, for example, we can see the broca, which is a little bark that makes holes into the coffee cherry and perforates the bean, which you can taste in your cup if you don't remove it. Es muy difícil porque uno toda la vida ha sido cafetero, caficultor, y llegar uno con un bulto de café de la cooperativa y comenzar a trillar y que no, que la broca. No, es que no se le compra. Han habido muchísimos cambios. Se han ido buscando nuevas variedades que son resistentes a las plagas y a las enfermedades. Y después vienen las sequías largas, como ahora que vienen cinco meses de, de sequía total, entonces eso afecta, eso sí afecta más. Every year on these farms, they're suffering to produce the same number of bags that they did the year before. And so it costs more to produce, and then they, they're producing less and earning less from them. Nosotros acá hemos comprado en año 4 millones, 5 millones de kilos de café pergamino seco. A raíz de cambio climático y el invierno, en el último año nos bajó como a 2 millones de sacos. Se nos bajó casi en más, más del 50%. The harvest periods are getting longer and longer because before we had very distinct dry periods and rainy seasons. Ahora usted no sabe cuándo va a ser verano ni cuándo va a ser invierno. Y eso hace que pronto no podamos sembrar en la época que es, no se puede abonar en la época que toca, o sea, ya toca que ir como al ritmo de, del clima, de los cambios que han ido sucediendo, entonces a ese ritmo tiene que ir uno como marchando. When you talk to farmers, many of them they're already really like on the edge, it's too much pressure, and you can see many of them that are going out of coffee growing. Me está saliendo más cuesta sembrar piña que café. Estoy ganando más dinero y más rápido. En este momento nosotros estamos cultivando papaya. Nos hemos arriesgado en este momento a sembrar más cultivos porque el verano no nos, no nos lo permite. Todo esto era cafetero, pero ahora ya vas para arriba, para, la, la, para, arriba, para las zonas Altas. Suitable coffee growing areas are moving up the altitude in order to compensate for increased uh, temperatures. It's very, very sensitive. A lot of other crops, they can deal with a much bigger range of temperatures. Coffee really needs a very specific niche to be producing good quality Arabica coffee. By 2050, the temperature in this uh, area will be 2.5 degrees uh, higher than, than today. Two degrees might be safe in terms of planetary systems, but it is not a safe warming for a coffee farmer in Colombia. It's practically an entire displacement of the coffee growing region. So it means anyone that is growing coffee today in the future will have to grow something differently. El 90% de los agricultores han cambiado unos a piña, otros a yuca, otros a cítricos, pero na nada de café. 
farmers are finding that they need to discover new strategies to deal with this. And many of them, unfortunately, are turning towards different varieties. They're taking out those heirloom trees that have developed a reputation for quality over a long time. A lot of the varieties that are being planted to replace some of the older traditional coffee types are not as delicious. So what that means for coffee drinkers and consumers is that the price of coffee is likely to go up a lot in the coming decades and quite possibly finding it more difficult to access the extreme high quality coffees that we're just now beginning to really fall in love with. Coffee and mankind are thought to have appeared around the same time. It's been our companion all this time and now it's beginning to suffer and I think it should be cause for us to worry about our own health and livelihood. <laughs>